Month, Wikipedia article audio. A month is a unit of time, used with calendars, which is approximately as long as a natural period related to the motion of the moon, month and moon are cognates. The traditional concept arose with the cycle of moon phases, such months are synodic months and last approximately 29.53 days. From excavated tally sticks, researchers have deduced that people counted days in relation to the moon's phases as early as the Paleolithic age. Synodic months, based on the moon's orbital period with respect to the Earth-Sun line, are still the basis of many calendars today, and are used to divide the year. Types of Months in Astronomy Calendrical Consequences Months in various calendars Beginning of the lunar month Julian and Gregorian calendars Kalends, Nones, and Ides Hebrew calendar Islamic calendar Arabic calendar Hindu calendar Baha'i calendar Iranian calendars Reformed Bengali calendar Nanak Shahi calendar Khmer calendar Thai calendar Tongan calendar Kalam era calendar Sinhala calendar Germanic calendar Old Georgian calendar Old Swedish calendar Old English calendar Old Hungarian calendar Old Egyptian calendar Niska A calendar The following types of months are mainly of significance in astronomy, most of them first recognized in Babylonian lunar astronomy. French Republican calendar Adhikmas a synodic month is longer than a sidereal month because the Earth-Moon system is orbiting the Sun in the same direction as the Moon is orbiting the Earth. The Sun moves eastward with respect to the stars and it takes about 2.2 days longer for the Moon to return to the same apparent position with respect to the Sunday. An anomalistic month is longer than a sidereal month because the perigee moves in the same direction as the moon is orbiting the Earth, one revolution in nine years. Therefore, the moon takes a little longer to return to perigee than to return to the same star. A draconic month is shorter than a sidereal month because the nodes move in the opposite direction as the moon is orbiting the Earth one revolution in 18.6 years. Therefore, the moon returns to the same node slightly earlier than it returns to the same star. At the simplest level, most well-known lunar calendars are based on the initial approximation that two lunations last 59 days, a 30-day full month followed by a 29-day hollow month but this is only roughly accurate and eventually needs correction by using larger cycles, or the equivalent of leap days. Additionally, the synodic month does not fit easily into the year, which makes accurate, rule-based lunisolar calendars complicated. The most common solution to this problem is the metonic cycle, which takes advantage of the fact that 235 lunations are approximately 19 tropical years. However, a metonic calendar will drift against the seasons by about one day every 200 years. Metonic calendars include the calendar used in the Antikythera mechanism about 2,000 years ago, and the Hebrew calendar. The complexity required in an accurate lunisolar calendar may explain why solar calendars have generally replaced lunar calendars for civil use in most societies. The Hellenic calendars, the Hebrew lunisolar calendar and the Islamic lunar calendar started the month with the first appearance of the thin crescent of the new moon. However, 
the motion of the moon in its orbit is very complicated and its period is not constant. The date and time of this actual observation depends on the exact geographical longitude as well as latitude, atmospheric conditions, the visual acuity of the observers, etc. Therefore, the beginning and lengths of months defined by observation cannot be accurately predicted. While some like the Jewish Karaites still rely on actual moon observations, most people use the Gregorian solar calendar. Pindula Peas, a language from Micronesia, also uses a lunar calendar. There are 12 months associated with their calendar. The moon first appears in March, they name this month Kalak. This system has been used for hundreds of years and throughout many generations. This calendar is cyclical and relies on the position and shape of the moon. The Gregorian calendar, like the Julian calendar before it, has 12 months. The mean month length of the Gregorian calendar is 30.436875 days. Months existing in the Roman calendar in the past include The famous mnemonic 30 days hath September is the most common way of teaching the lengths of the months in the English-speaking world. Also, note that any five consecutive months contain 153 days. The knuckles of the four fingers of one's hand and the spaces between them can be used to remember the lengths of the months. By making a fist, each month will be listed as one proceeds across the hand. All months landing on a knuckle are 31 days long and those landing between them are not. When the knuckle of the index finger is reached, go back to the first knuckle and continue with August. This physical mnemonic has been taught to primary school students for many decades. This cyclical pattern of month lengths matches the musical keyboard alternation of white and black keys. The Ides occur on the 13th day in eight of the months, but in March, May, July, and October, they occur on the 15th. The knowns always occur eight days before the Ides, i.e., on the 5th or the 7th. The calends are always the first day of the month and before Julius Caesar's reform fell 16 days after the Ides. The Hebrew calendar has 12 or 13 months. Adar 1 is only added 7 times in 19 years. In ordinary years, Adar 2 is simply called Adar. There are also 12 months in the Islamic calendar. They are named as follows. See Islamic calendar for more information on the Islamic calendar. The Hindu calendar has various systems of naming the months. The months in the lunar calendar are. These are also the names used in the Indian national calendar for the newly redefined months. Purushottam Mas or Adhik Mas is an extra month in the Hindu calendar that is inserted to keep the lunar and solar calendars aligned. Purushottam is an epithet of Vishnu, to whom the month is dedicated. The names in the solar calendar are just the names of the zodiac sign in which the sun travels. They are The Baha'i calendar is the calendar used by the Baha'i faith. It is a solar calendar with regular years of 365 days, and leap years of 366 days. Years are composed of 19 months of 19 days each, plus an extra period of intercalary days. The months are named after the attributes of God. Days of the year begin and end at sundown. The Iranian-slash-Persian calendar, currently used in Iran and Afghanistan, also has 12 months. The Persian names are included in the parentheses. It begins on the northern spring equinox. The Bangla calendar, used in Bangladesh, follows solar months and it has six seasons. 
The months and seasons in the calendar are. The months in the Nanakshahi calendar are. The menses intercalaris, an occasional month after February to realign the calendar, Quintilis, renamed to July in honor of Julius Caesar, Sextiles, renamed to August in honor of Augustus. Slash, or in the case of a year with a leap month. Skamdiji. Autumn. Like the Hindu calendar, the Khmer calendar consists of both a lunar calendar and a solar calendar. The Khmer solar calendar is used more commonly than the lunar calendar. There are 12 months and the numbers of days follow the Julian and Gregorian calendar. The Khmer lunar calendar contains 12 months, however, the eighth month is repeated every two or three years, making 13 months instead of 12. The Tongan calendar is based on the cycles of the moon around the earth in one year. The months are The Sinhala calendar is the Buddhist calendar in Sri Lanka with Sinhala names. Each full moon Poya day marks the start of a Buddhist lunar month. The first month is Vasak. The old Icelandic calendar is not in official use anymore, but some Icelandic holidays and annual feasts are still calculated from it. It has 12 months, broken down into two groups of six often termed winter months and summer months. The calendar is peculiar in that the months always start on the same weekday rather than on the same date. Hence Ori always starts on a Friday sometime between January 22nd and January 28th, Goa always starts on a Sunday between February 21st and February 27th. Asterisk note, New Year in ancient Georgia started from September. Like the Old Norse calendar, the Anglo-Saxons had their own calendar before they were Christianized which reflected native traditions and deities. These months were attested by Bede in his works on chronology and the reckoning of time written in the 8th century. His months are probably those as written in the Northumbrian dialect of Old English which he was familiar with. The months were so named after the moon the new moon marking the end of an old month and start of a new month, the full moon occurring in the middle of the month, after which the month was named. Nagasambati Calendarium from 1579 Historically Hungary used a 12-month calendar that appears to have been zodiacal in nature but eventually came to correspond to the Gregorian months as shown below. The ancient civil Egyptian calendar had a year that was 365 days long and was divided into 12 months of 30 days each, plus 5 extra days at the end of the year. The months were divided into 3 weeks of 10 days each. Because the ancient Egyptian year was almost a quarter of a day shorter than the solar year and stellar events wandered through the calendar it is referred to as Annus Vegas or Wandering Year. The Niska A calendar coincides with the Gregorian calendar with each month referring to the type of harvesting that is done during the month. This calendar was proposed during the French Revolution, and used by the French government for about 12 years from late 1793. There were 12 months of 30 days each grouped into three ten-day weeks called decades. The five or six extra days needed to approximate the tropical year were placed after the months at the end of each year. A period of four years ending on a leap day was to be called a Franciade. It began at the autumn equinox. Purushottam Mas or Adhik Mas is an extra month in the Hindu calendar that is inserted to keep the lunar and solar calendars aligned. Purushottam is an epithet of Vishnu, to whom the month is dedicated. 